Well, you are watching a performance created by Nathan Felix. It is an immersive opera, a production similar to a flash mob where it blurs the line between performer and audience by having musical performers move amongst the audience and through various galleries in a museum. And in our capital city tonight, you can enjoy the world premiere of The Great Hurricane, a new immersive opera which will premiere at the Columbia Museum of Art. Nathan Felix is the composer and director of The Great Hurricane. Kay Marion is a soprano in the immersive opera, and James Allen is a tenor. Such a joy, such a pleasure to have all of you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to have you. So you two, you're in North Carolina, you're in South Carolina, USC student, but you both are part of tonight's performance. And Nathan, this is kind of a big deal that the capital city here gets to host the world premiere of your newest immersive opera. Why did you choose Columbia? Well, I've heard about the art scene here, but also the talent here at USC and the broader region is is known for having great opera singers, so it's a pleasure to work with such talent. So glad, and you will have eight performers tonight, and as I mentioned, it's like people are looking at art, and all of a sudden the person next to them, dressed in normal everyday clothing, starts singing. Is this your first immersive opera? This is my first immersive opera, yes. And James, for you as well? Yes, and my first new work ever, so this is very exciting. So what is it like? Because I know you guys have been rehearsing. Have In rehearsals, have you actually worked with having people walking around you? Not really. <laughs> so this we, is we, pretty new. Much, we pretty much start rehearsals after closing, so this will be a very different experience tonight. And how, tell us about the how the storyline works in The Great Hurricane. What is it about? Sure, so we stage it in the entire museum, so the, the audience is encouraged to walk with us, and we're telling a story about two couples that come together and they're escaping South Carolina while a hurricane hits, and they come back and they see the city change and the community change, and so they're dealing with the aftermath of that. And is this an opera in English? It's in English, correct. Okay, so with the one that we can actually <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> know what's happening, right? So let's take a look at some more of the video. Immersive opera is very exciting because it's different. It's not the typical sit in the chair and watch someone on stage. For the performers, though, how does this work as far as the acoustics? And you're not going to be mic'd, right? Correct. We won't be mic'd. All right. So how does this work then, Nathan? Well, you never know. They're, that variable of the audience and how they react is going to change, and so they're going to have to improv. We've have, we have a stage, you know, within galleries that we've set, but if the audience sits or gets in our way, then we have to sort of shift and stay in the sight line of the conductor and, and so forth. So it's a, it's a challenge, but that's the fun part of it. It's, it's a, an experience, you know. It's, it's live. It's, it's immediate. And how is this different for, for you, Nathan? You live in New York, and you've come here to, to offer this one. The video we see is one that you were doing, I believe, in New Mexico, right? Correct. And so how is this different from some of the other works that you've done? Well, I write a new story each time, something that the community, community can relate to, and then each museum is different as well. The acoustics are different. The sight lines mm -hmm. are different. And so it's, that's my challenge of trying to figure out, okay, how do we make this unique for this museum and have the audience not bottleneck and right. have a good experience. I just think it's absolutely fascinating. Kay and James, would you sing a line for me? Now, do you, will you sing something that you sing together or do you each want to sing your own line? We'll sing our own line. Yeah. Okay, well then, girl, you just sing your own line. <laughs> no, let, me, let me hear something from you. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, thanks, mm -hmm. Kay. Beautiful. You've been studying opera for how many years? Eight years. And you're so young and have yes. such a strong, beautiful soprano voice. Thank you. James, you're a tenor. Yes. Give us a line that you'll be performing tonight. Sure. Don't worry, dear. I will protect our little one. Mm. And it's an hour long. Yes. And so, and then afterwards, the audience will have an opportunity to, I was going to say intermingle with you, they already are as you perform, but they'll have a chance to have a reception with you as well. Let me give you the information. Pull up the full screen for me, guys. The world premiere of The Great Hurricane, a new immersive opera, premieres tonight at 6.30 at the Columbia Museum of Art. The performance lasts an hour. A reception with beer, wine, and snacks will be in the Columbia Museum of Art reception gallery after. That goes until 8 p.m. The Columbia Museum of Art 
Boulevard. It's located at 1515 Main Street in downtown Columbia. Nathan, I'm so thrilled that you chose Columbia to give this premiere. And I know that a lot of our viewers watching right now would love that. So to be able to come to it this evening, I'll put the information on my Facebook page right after, and it will be on our website as well. And Kate, such a beautiful voice. James, you as well. You. I would let, ask you to sing, but you are the composer. <laughs> <laughs> you write and compose, but not sing. Well, and for those of us who also, Nathan, do not have a singing voice, we certainly have an ear for it. And I know this is a great opportunity for the capital city and beyond. Thank you, Thank all you of you for being you. with us. Again, we have Kay Marion and James Allen performing and Nathan Felix, the composer and director. More Midday right after this.